It's very good. I really am looking forward to, to seeing this relationship develop. I don't know. I, I just got that feeling. Listen, man. Me thinking you'd take me to the dance and see me all dressed up and realize you actually have feelings for me, no one face, because you do, but you're just too stupid to know it. By the time you stood up for yourself, Emma. He's gonna kill her? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here back with another reaction to Lost Season 3 Episode 11. Are you ready for it today? I'm ready to jump in. So no wasting time here. Things are getting spicy. Kate and Danielle is about to go over there. Saeed as well as John. So see how things pop off in this episode anyways guys if you want to see more episodes of laws you want to watch them early good place to check that out link is down in the description go check out the patreon man let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review Table. Where the hell did that come from? Jin found it when he was out looking for firewood. Hey, you seen Kate around? Wow, she's not back yet? <laughs> hey, that's my guns and ammo. Where the hell did you get it? It wasn't the magazine stack. We share things now. <laughs> Listen, Zorro. It was in my stuff. <laughs> stuff Why you, you gotta to call this man with Zorro? I think he actually did play Zorro. I think this guy actually did play Zoro at some point, if I remember correctly. Um, I know that uh, Antonio Banderas, I know he played Zoro. Um didn't he play it play Zoro in like probably like the last Zoro movie? I think he played his son or something like that. I don't remember, but I think this guy actually did play Zoro at some point. <laughs> like I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. I don't... Hey, oh, Bailey, if you want it that bad, take it. Let's just keep it. We're still heading north on a bearing of 305. Yes. I'm sensing a lack of confidence. You really think we're just going to chance upon where the others are? I don't know what we're going to chance on, Saeed, but my bearing is the only bearing we got. That's crazy, bruh. Ah, this is the guy from the that saw them that they saw on the camera. He's been wrong, but he was right once again. Are you sure it's completely isolated? I've circled the house. There's nothing but jungle surrounding it. Yeah. The man in the house, you said you've seen him before? On a video feed from the Pearl Station. So who is he? Only one way to find out. Well, where are you going? I have no interest in that man inside the house. I have survived on the island precisely by avoiding these types of encounters. Damn, Daniel's so cold with it, though. Damn. Did you cook this? Yeah, you're the one who cooked it. Yes, I did. Wow. It's delicious. Is he a food critic? If you like it, I will hire you at twice your pay here. You're offering a stranger a job because of a single meal. Because uh, my chef just quit. <laughs> Oh. 
Bruh. Oh, he's been hit. He's been hit. Not yet. You want to get shot too? Hi. My name is Saeed Shara. I was on a plane that crashed here months ago. I'm unarmed, I swear. Stay right there. Drop the rifle. Drop right now. Back up. I'll go in first, make sure it's okay. Who are you? My name is Mikhail Bakunin. And I'm the last living member of the Dharma Initiative. I don't know. Are Ben and them, are they a part of the Dharma Initiative? Should we consider them a part of the Dharma Initiative? I mean, they, they know about the, the hatches and everything, so they must be a part of it. I don't know, man. In the kitchen, on the top shelf, there is a medical kit. Will you bring it, please? Why are you leaving this man with Saeed by himself already? How did you get here? I almost don't know where to begin. I was stationed at a listening post in Vladivostok. After we lost the Cold War, my unit was decommissioned. I was dismissed from my life in the military. I found myself wanting to do something good. So I replied to a newspaper advertisement. An advertisement? Would you like to save the world, Israel? Very secretive. This man very stores rich, a lot of meat. Very smart. 11 years now. I liked computers, communications equipment, and being alone like a lighthouse keeper. They called it the flame. What's the purpose of the flame? To communicate with the outside world, of course. Ready to play. Your move. What happened to the Dombra Initiative? <laughs> They're all dead, of course. A purge, they called it. And how did you survive this purge? I told you, I like being alone. And the hostiles allowed you to stay here? They offered a truce. As long as I did not cross it, I would be left alone. Ah, so they approached them too. Then ah, they bruh, took that two is... cows, and I never saw them again. Who are they? This hostile. I love how this man just know. has tweezers in and your arm and you're just still asking were. questions. Ah! <laughs> Ajif, I'm so glad you came. Amira, come meet the chief. How in God's name did you pull that off, my guy? Ooh. Are you sure this is him? Yes. Hold on, is he the one that tortured her? How the hell did he survive this? I wonder if he's the one that tortured her. Thank you, Mikhail. Perhaps I can begin to earn your forgiveness by offering some iced tea. I will also check on your friend. <laughs> Why is he so nice? Why don't I trust this right now? This man is really in here playing chess with I don't know who. <laughs> For 10 years, I've tried to defeat that game, but it was programmed by three grandmasters, and it cheats. I've played a lot of computers, and I'm pretty sure they don't know how to cheat. That's what makes being human so distinctly wonderful. What's wrong? It just doesn't make any sense. Actually, it makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? The reason they let him stay here is because he is not Dharma. He is one of them. How did you decipher that? You are sitting here, Kate, because I am certain he is not alone. Brad, this is wild. I noticed a series of thick wires as I walked around the station. This is the hub, but they go underground to various stations all over the island. The initiative used one to bring us here. But I can imagine only that the hostiles have either destroyed or commandeered it by now. That's very unfortunate. Well, at least we were able to kill one of them. 
Why are we continuing to play this little game? I don't know. Because you're continuing and to play the game? We it is moved to the next stage. Ooh! Hey! You were a torturer, were you not? In the Republican Guard. You confused me with someone else. Amira was arrested for harboring an enemy of the state. Her arms bear the scars of those questions. So I assure you, Najif, I am not confused. Yes, I was an interrogator, but I have never seen your wife. Maybe she saw me at the same facility, but I do not know her. She remembers it so well that she recognized it from a mere glimpse when we walked by the restaurant where you worked. What do you want from me? I want you to admit to what you did. Um, <laughs> I just don't to remember her, so. Tell you that I killed her, so, the that I did this, so you sad. can kill me? Instead of um. <laughs> someone much shorter than this man, they sent someone out here because they lost communications. Maybe when the sky turned purple. That would be my guess. Not every nook and cranny, John. Are you ready to tell me the truth? I have told you the truth. Are you gonna say something or did they cut out your tongue too? Jesus Christ. You tortured her. Oh. You think this will do any good? That this will make me confess to something I didn't do. She confessed when you poured a pan of boiling oil over her arm. No, I did not. You have to admit it! I cannot admit to something I didn't do. She probably just traumatized by the whole situation. She doesn't know. She just probably... Probably maybe he was standing guard while this stuff was happening. Um, what is it? C4. Explosive. You are really, John? Yeah, gonna pay attention to the man he got tied up on the floor. Really? Yeah, that, that, you're happy? Value override achieved. For pallet drop, enter 2-4. So they can get a pallet drop of food. The satellite dish is inoperable. Nigga, what is working? Is an incursion on the station by the hostiles. If so, enter seven, seven. Who are the hostiles? I thought you guys were the hostiles. Keep your voice low and your hands in front of you. Ah, <sighs> man. That's not a good time to be paying attention to something else. Oh, it's the black lady. Stop right there. Put the gun on the ground. Now. What are you doing? It's her. She was there. She was at the dock. She was there when we were kidnapped. Are there any more of you here? Let's take her upstairs. John! I'm gonna do a prisoner exchange. <laughs> John is a prisoner right now. This is simple. Send her over to me and I will release him. And we all go our separate ways. Don't listen to him. Down everyone! Mikhail! Zaid! I'll handle this, John. John! Just do it, Mikhail! Tell her to kill her. John! Finish yeah. it! Nah, bro, you ain't getting off that easily. Kill me. You ain't getting off that easy, bro. I was never a member, but everything else I told you was true. I moved into the station after the purge. Your friends, did you kill them? No. They're collecting whatever may be useful from the farmhouse. And now we have our ticket to where the others live. 
There is nothing you could do to me that would make me lead you there. I didn't say you were our ticket, did I? This is a map showing electrical and data cabling. Running from the flame, here, with water and power large enough to accommodate an entire community. <laughs> Sounds like a place well worth visiting. Don't, Don't you think? <laughs> you have a map. Why keep him alive? I don't know. In times like these. <laughs> After my husband and I first arrived to Paris, I was afraid to ever move Wait a minute, isn't that the same cat? Every once in a while, he will bite me or scratch me. He forgets that he is safe now. So I forgive him when he bites me. Because I know what it is like to never feel safe. I ask you now that you show me the respect of acknowledging what you did to me and that you remember me. So I'd say he don't remember you, cuz. I don't know. I remember you. Your face has haunted me ever since I left Iraq. I am sorry. I am so sorry for what I did to you. Man, these characters are so... <laughs> that is you. When my husband returns, I will tell him I made terrible mistake. And he will release you. Will he? Why? We are all capable of doing what those children did to this guy. But I will not do that. Wow. I will what not a woman. be that. He's my prisoner. I will decide his fate. I can see you didn't find anything worth taking. Actually, I just played that silly chess game again. And now, I realize why you didn't want me to beat it. What? That place was our one hope of communication with the outside world! The computer said if there was an incursion by the hostiles, I should enter 7-7. We should go. If anyone's around, this explosion's going to attract their attention. Bruh. The cat. The immersion, the immersion, the immersion just brings you in. You know what I mean? You get I get so immersed in this show sometimes I forget to talk during the reaction. Um, you know, and I guess some people will prefer that either way. Um, that I just co comment right through and don't stop to talk about anything because, you know, whatever the situation is. But um, as I said, it's not something I do on every single video. So um, either way this episode we kind of found out a lot we also you know was a good backstory for saeed um sometimes we do have to find that kind of um forgiveness and some people say some people deserve death because of you know what they may have done in the past i've talked about this extensively before that you know what i'm saying i'm extremely against you know capital punishment i don't like the idea of capital punishment i think that nobody nobody no human being has the right to take another life no matter how you take that life unless it is in self-defense now in self-defense a whole different story somebody try to kill you end up killing them that's a whole different story and i think in that way it is justified because you are um you know defending yourself so it's a little it's it's definitely different it's the only exception it's the only exception any other way that you end up killing a person whether it's by accident or whatever the situation is 
you're going to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to jail. Okay. So at the end of the day, I don't believe that. Uh, um, but then on the other side of things, I should say is that when a person who has committed a murder or whatever the situation is, or they've committed multiple murders or whatever, um, you know, all the capital that, you know, they need to be killed or they need to, you know, death penalty kind of thing. Like I'm not agreeing, but let them rot in jail, man. Let them rot in jail. You never know, you know, if that person will change. And yes, I believe that these people should have a, a second chance. Um, you know, and some people might disagree, but that's just my belief. It is what it is. People have different takes or whatever on these things. How, however, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to have a back and forth with anybody that has different views about these things because it's all based on what you believe. That's not how the system itself, the justice system operates, obviously in some states in the United States still does the bet the death penalty and that's cool you're not gonna see me out here protesting um against it because i just that's just what it is and at the end of the day um you know even if even if you go out there and and vote for somebody to be president that's against the death penalty um it's really not gonna change that law because it um usually when it comes on to capital punishment, it's a state law. It's not a, um, it's not a federal law. It's a state law. So if it was federal, then all, you know, all the states would do it, but some states don't do the death penalty. This is a little weird. It's a little weird, but, um, at the end of the day, I'm not an advocate for it. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Look at Saeed. Saeed used to torture people. You know what I'm saying? And for him to come full circle with somebody that he actually tortured and them forgiven him, it just goes to show you that sometimes it can be that people can turn their life around if you give them the chance to do so. Now, Saeed never really faced, I, I wouldn't say he faced any punishment back then. He kind of just left iraq and stuff like that and he was kind of forced into torturing people or learning how to torture people or whatever the situation is by the americans that were there um as we can see right so um in certain terms you can make the argument to say he never went to jail for any of this or he, he didn't really face justice if you will for any of it so um it is what it is but at the end of the day um, I like the fact that that was the resolution because we know he survived because he's on the island right now. So we know he wasn't going to die. Right. But at the end of the day, it's just like the message that they were trying to portray through that scene is like forgiveness is everything, man. Forgiveness. Um, you don't have to necessarily forget what a person, um, what a, what a person has done to you. But I think forgiveness is warranted in many situations. Um, that we, you know, choose not to forgive people for. I think it's very easy to forgive them for that because at the end of the day, people do change. People do have the ability to change, even though nowadays people um, just don't believe in that anymore. You know what I'm saying? There are certain things that we are, you know what I mean? Or, you know, in general that people are, you know, um, and we tend to stick with that a lot, but I still do believe that people do have the ability, um, to change. That's not to say that you should ignore past behaviors. Um, you know, that's not to say that, but be able to forgive that. But if it's a situation like a relationship or something like that, you gotta be weary. You gotta be weary of getting into those situations. If you know someone's past in a certain way, right? You gotta understand that you are getting, in to a relationship with this type of person right you gotta understand that but i digress this episode as i said i wanted to kind of talk about that dynamic a little bit with a flashback with saeed also the situation with them finding this place um and then finding the map to go towards where these people are camped for all we know it could be a whole different place um so it might not even be where Ben and them is, but they are tracking Jack and that's going to be cool 
if they if it is the place that we're talking about that we saw um earlier in the season this is one of those um episodes when you're i'm looking at john i'm like john why did why weren't you paying attention we didn't even have to end up in a situation where this dude had to kill you know this this woman right because i don't even think we know who she is or know her name you know um she told him to to kill her that's what she did she told him to kill her um you know to take her out because she's not gonna say anything because they consider themselves once they get caught or captured or whatever the situation is they could should consider themselves dispensable because they can't lead people back to where the others are because they think everybody's just gonna wreak havoc um this is gonna get real interesting and i can see where this is gonna be real intense going forward um for the rest of the season because <sighs> is gonna be it is it, it just seems like it's gonna be some wild stuff happening that you know people are gonna i don't know if any of our main characters are going to die but i'm definitely weary of it i'm definitely a little scared that somebody one you know my favorite characters or one of my favorite characters are going to get killed somehow during this whole thing because i mean but i mean out of every button <laughs> like the first one listen the first one i'm dropping if i'm on that computer drop a pallet baby because we run out of food drop a pallet <laughs> i'm sorry maybe i'm a little bit too addicted to food <laughs> um but yeah man drop a pallet man that's the first thing i would have asked would have asked for forget that's like oh if the hostiles come press seven seven I'm probably not gonna because the first thing that popped into my mind is like if the hostile comes it's like it's, it's one of the two things gonna happen it's either they're gonna send back up or they're gonna the place was rigged to blow with c4 like what do you think that's for if it's rigged to blow that simply means that if they can self-destruct to destroy all of this information they're going to do that but we also got to remember that john did not know he did not know that the place was strung up because he didn't go under the cellar as well. So um, he didn't know. So I'm gonna give him the I'm gonna give him the doubt, not the benefit of the doubt. He definitely did not know. <laughs> so he was out of the loop that the place was strung up with C4. I think that if he knew that it was strung up to blow like that, I don't think he would have chose seven seven. But it is what it is, right? We're here now, and now we gotta get figure out how to get back to this place and you know hopefully nothing bad happens um you know on the way to wherever they're going and you know somebody ends up getting killed i think it's going to be real interesting to see in any case guys let me know what you think in the comment section of course leave a like on the video and i will catch you guys for the next one man peace